Oh, hey guys. I'm back. How are you? It's it's really dark in here. It is a stormy day. <laughs> It's kind of dark. It's kind of nice, though. I kind of like it. I kind of like the dark. Don't look at Femboy Doge. Look at me. Don't foc- Oh, the camera's focused on Femboy Doge. Oh, my God. There we go. Hey, guys. I've made something cool. I think this will be a new thing I do. Like, I make a cool thing on Roblox. Here's how I did it. So, let me talk about what the hell I actually did. I have a lot of side projects going on. I have so many side projects. So many. One of them being I'm working on a new gun framework for my SCP game. You may remember this, I've done some live streams on it, but it looked a little bit like this. It had some really cool features, but the guns looked kind of lame. There was also a lot of stuff that I was programming by myself, and it kind of got overwhelming, and a lot of the code got messy. So I decided to completely rewrite that game, and I'm starting with the guns. So this is what I have right now. Keep in mind, I didn't make these 3D models. I stole them. But I did make the animations, I did the GUI, I did all the scripting, and I think it looks pretty good. Big props to Black Shibe, who actually helped me start out making this with a post he made on the dev forum. I later got in closer contact with him, and now we are the best of friends, or something like that. Cut to not very long ago where I said, man, I'm making some good progress now, how can I procrastinate and get completely off track? That's what this video's about. I randomly said, you know what would be really fun having those balloons from Overwatch that you can pop like a moron and, and make those, cause why not? Does anybody need a forehead kissing? Yes, please. Do you guys know if there are balloons on this map? Pinata. There's pinatas and not balloons? See. Si. Damn it! Yeah! See those? Look how exciting this is. It's so exciting. It's so fun. It's just, it's my favorite part of this freaking game. See, this game is so fun. Watch this. Watch this, ready? Yeah! Why not make those? Let's, whatever. Let's do it. So I made those. Um, they're pretty cool, they pop, they have confetti, they have a sound, and they work so good. And the way I made them was amazing. First, I contacted my dear friend Shinyo and begged him to make me a 3D model of a balloon. So I took that balloon, I threw it in Roblox Studio, and then I had to experiment with their freaking crappy legacy body movers that freaking took forever to figure out how to make them actually like physics, like physics and make it work and stuff, but I did it. I made them work pretty well, I'll show you what I did. So here's the balloon, the physics work and everything, like, it, it's not, it's not perfect, obviously, but, but it looks pretty good. In the model, there's a rope constraint. I'm in love with Roblox rope constraints, because they do things like this. They're cool, they're, they're ropes, ropes are neat, look at that. See that action? That's so cool. In the balloon itself, we have body angular velocity and body velocity. I put in body angular velocity because I found out that the balloon was kind of like spazzing out and spinning a lot, so I put this in to kind of slow that down. And then body velocity is the thing that actually makes it go up, so if I change 750 to zero, it falls over. But then say I do a number like a thousand, when it floats up, it's gonna start fidgeting like that. So I had to find numbers that work pretty well, and I find that these are the numbers that work all right. If you guys steal this thing, I will kill you. Oh, shut up, motorcycle. After all the physics was done, I was like, let's, let's get the beauty out of the way. Let's make this thing look beautiful. I made a little confetti particle. I, I made a popping sound. I put the popping sound in for 20 Robux. <laughs> It took 20 Robux to upload a popping sound. That's like half of a second. <laughs> so the first thing I did was decide on a system on how the balloons are actually going to be created. Because one big mistake you can make when doing something like this is creating a balloon model and just copying and pasting it and putting in your maps. No! Because guess what? If you find something you don't like with the balloons, say like you want to alter the physics of the things a little bit, you're going to have to find all the balloons that you copy and pasted and modify them all each individually. No, 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 no. You make one that a script spawns. You make balloon spawns and the script will put the balloon in. So that way you only have to modify one balloon when you want to modify all of them. See, this is the, this is the smart thing that you guys will... Are you joking me? My strip lights just went out. Why did- Why? Oh, so what I proceeded to do is I started making a little spawn part. 
They're like the little anchor point for the ropes. Then I put some objects in this part to customize how the balloons would be spawned. So the parameters that you can change, you can change the colors of the balloons that spawn at that anchor, the amount of balloons that'll spawn at that specific anchor, the length of the rope that'll hold the balloon on that anchor. So what's next? Now I gotta actually script the thing. I built the spawns and now I gotta script the thing. We have one main script that references a module script that uses object-oriented programming to make a balloon class which can use the method POP to pop the balloon, but it also creates and builds and structures the whole thing, and it's really cool, and object-oriented programming is great, and I love it, and it's it's so perfect. And this is how it works. So the main script says balloon.new with this spawn, and then the module script is like, okay, beep, 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 let me create all this information about this specific balloon, and then I'll give it back to to the script and I'll say here's the balloon that I made <laughs> take it this is my little love kiss for me to you blow you a kiss but it's a balloon and the script is like <laughs> I'll take that and I will hold on to that until I figure out that the balloon has been shopped I had to go into the hit detection and where it does this whole block of code to find the humanoid I added one stupid line that says or oh, if it's a balloon And then I created another bindable event for the purpose of popping a balloon when the balloon is shot It sends it to the main script and then the main script is like oh this balloon just got popped And then it goes through a table of balloons and it's like is it this, is it this balloon if it is this balloon pop it and then it goes back to the module script and the module script's like, oh what? You wanna pop this balloon? Okay, I'm gonna call this function. And then it plays the popping sound and it does the confetti and it does a very short, fast, hard to detect tween on the balloon which makes it go up in size because it looks very aesthetic and it looks like it's popping and expanding and you barely notice it. But that's the trick of making good game design. You barely notice it. And then it pops and then whoa, it's super satisfying and you can do all these cool things with balloons. You can make balloon art. Make rainbows. You're calling me a homo. I will not have it! But yeah, I thought I'd share my process on how I make things, you know? So you guys can see a little bit of how I do things. Stop focusing on my monitors. You focus on me. So this was a different type of video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'm trying to find new formats and stuff to do videos. Maybe I'll do more of these because I have a lot of side projects. And I can show you a lot of side projects that you might be interested in. So if you like this format of video, please let me know. And I'll be sure to do more of it. And maybe next time I'll have some better lighting. Like, come on! Griffin freaking it's dark as hell in here. We can't see you. We can't see you. I don't care you guys I love you. Please subscribe and Leave a comment and I'll and, and I'll heart it and like it if it's good. Bye now. Bye. Have fun you guys Oh wait, I'm forgetting the best part you guys are probably wondering now that you've seen these wonderful balloons Where can you go to play with them? Well worry no longer because I have made a place specifically for popping balloons It's called balloon popper 3000 and it's epic It looks like this and it's beautiful and it's simplistic and there's tons of balloons and cute colors. Three types of guns you can use to shoot the balloons or you can shoot your friends. That's right, you can shoot your friends and stop them from shooting balloons and just have a good time. There's a leaderboard with pops and KOs and guess what? Those scores save when you leave the game so you can come back a day later and flex on everybody there and say guess what I have I have way more balloon pops than you sucka so there's there's not a lot of content in that game I'm gonna be real but it's really just a showcase for the balloons that I made the link for this place is in the description and why don't you guys leave a comment and tell me how many pops you can get in that game join my discord server link in the description send me a screenshot of your leader stats ah, la, la, la. and maybe you can talk to me and I can 1v1 you in the balloon popper 3000 well that's it that's I think that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video it actually took me a really really long time to make and I put a lot of effort into it so I hope that you guys like it let me know if you want to see more videos formatted like this and maybe I'll do it if you guys are new I would love it if you dropped a subscription I'm so cool you should you should come and see me more often but anyway good good goodbye